And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Falcons offense set to go. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. Better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle. No gain on the play. Brings up looking to throw on second down. Ryan. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Week after week, we're seeing plays like this from him, and I think he's in line. We've discussed it before for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And a big reason why, I think, is because of his ball skills, and that's something that, for guys of his position, they've talked about it for years, they've done the drills, but it really increased it in recent seasons because of the offense have gotten so good, he knows how to take the ball away. That is huge for a defender. And he'll give it here to his running back. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and Gonna four. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 32. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. 32-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Brought down by Deion Up from his Jones. linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. Brings up second and eight. At the now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that'll be caught by the tight end, Keen. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down That's at the 22. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and the Patriots will get a new set of downs. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Check, check. Watch the 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. He was brought down by DeMonte Casey. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and four. They'll look to throw here. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. here in week 16. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 16-yard line. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. First down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Brings up second and five at the 43 yard. To throw again on second down. Ryan, they'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 44-yard line. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Ryan will throw again. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The end result, 21 yards. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. That catch good for only a couple. Out of bounds at the I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, Big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. 
It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Incomplete from the contact. He was covered by his... That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Now Olison. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. At the 9-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up Here's Ryan. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Zach Kerr in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long. And suddenly, the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Ryan. They'll set up the screen to Barkley, and they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise at this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal. It's some good running there. Gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. Brings up second and goal. Try to punch it in with Smith. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Now here's Olison, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard, and remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. So a big play coming for the Falcons as they'll go for two. Ryan. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they up their lead to three. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 
at their own 26. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Grady Jarrett make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The quarterback sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches. When they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. And there appears Ryan to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Ryan. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With that, he's up to 160 yards receiving now for the ball game. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. A first down carry for Barkley. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Phillips on the stop. No gain on the play. Second and Throwing on second down. Ryan. And he will find his man on the outside. Five yards. Now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. 
couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup, fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. with Ryan oh no he lost the football and it's picked up by the Patriots and they will take over possession of the football at their 42 yard line well partner here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines and all of a sudden they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And what a big fourth quarter fumble recovery a moment ago. And now they are set up with a chance to take the lead. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. We'll call it a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. Brings up second and five at the 47-yard line. Now a dump off here complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's complete into the hands of Myers. Seven yards to pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. The throw over the middle taken in. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. The line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. Brings up second and ten. He's back to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman with touchdown number seven on the year. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. Well, partner, this hasn't been the smoothest day for him, but he certainly picked the right time to get right, as they like to say. How about that for a touchdown? Well, he did. I guess he say all's well that ends well. It's not over yet, but you're right. He picked a good time for that first touchdown pass. Exactly right. Not over yet. The defense has got to make it hold up. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Falcons, 24. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Oliver. Now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. A fumble on the play. Recovered by the Patriots. How many times in the course of a game do you talk about momentum plays? And I think we just saw one there. Absolutely. Just scored, right? Just took the lead. Just took the lead, went downfield, got the ball free again and picked it up. They got a chance to really get the momentum on their side now. And yeah, now they'll try to pile on. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession.
So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. They'll look to throw. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. 22 yards there, a first down. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Time of factor as Ryan will hustle him to the line. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Now a desperation throw deep down feet. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. His pass caught at the four. Ryan's and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Here's Ryan. That's caught at the two. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. One last shot for Ryan. And this is going to be caught. It's caught, and they've won the football game. Touchdown. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and maybe a surprise for a team that plays its games indoors to come out in the elements and play the way that they did. I, were you surprised at all? I think a little bit, yes, but I often think back to some of the great coaches of the past. They decided to not deal with elements. In other words, a lot of coaches would say, well, if you're going to get prepared for a game, you have to practice in that type of condition. Others would say, forget all that. Get your preparation in during the week, the best prep possible, and then on game day, just adjust to what's out there. They adjusted in a big way. So for Atlanta, it's a good fifth win for them as they play out the string. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Philly to take on the Eagles. Meanwhile, for New England, it's a loss that could wind up hurting a little as they fall now to 11-4. And, and they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Scouting points are earned every week. Use all of your points.